Hi, this is Suze Laventero. Okay, I'm still working on the May readings. Today I'm going to do Aries. Oh, no, wait. I'm not doing I already did Aries. Uh, Leo. We're going to start with Leo. Okay. Leo and Sagittarius. Okay. All right, so let's start with Leo. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I feel like the business stuff is in order, so I feel like uh, there wants to be a love story revealed. Okay, so let's go there then. Okay. Okay, Scorpio. This could be Earth sign. Okay, so um, here is the Cancer Leo cusping energy. That could be Cancerian... Uh, so then I would say all water signs because here's Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. <laughs> uh, okay. And Libra. Okay. okay. So those are the main ones. But then they said with this one, actually... It could be any sign, okay. But luck is on your side when it comes to love. The Wheel of Fortune. So this could be another Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. You got Scorpio twice. Okay, so that could be, this could be any air sign but uh, Aquarius. Okay, so Uranus energy, so Taurus and Aquarius. Okay. Okay, so what's nice is I feel like you've gone through this kind of healing period, right? Okay, and it's like you got all, rid of all the junk in the trunk. So now you're ready to receive this abundance, this good luck that's coming in. Okay, and this is high vibing energy. So this is also uh, forward leaning uh, energy. So um, you may be stepping into new territory. Okay, so when you do that, it's important to be present in the moment and then have your eye on the future, too. Okay, I feel like that's really important there. Okay, now, okay, so here Pisces is reversed, hangman reversed. So it's asking for action steps now. You've done the dream work and they're ready to, spirit's ready to work with you and move in this kind of stable, consistent energy, balanced, lucky and uh, whole body, mind, and spirit in the leading edge. Okay, that's nice energy. Okay. Now, I feel like for some of you, you felt like um, love might have been slow. Okay, so it's it's going to start moving faster, the momentum. And uh, that could have been with an earth sign or a water sign. Okay, but I feel like what was important was to close chapters in your life or get rid of the baggage and things like that, right? To In order to move and make space for the new, which is here. Okay. Now let's see what these cards say. Okay, mindfulness everywhere. Okay, so that's like also uh, being present in the moment. Okay, and bringing kindness, compassion, and love, right? Wherever you go. And yes, yes, yes. This is uh, to invitations. Be open and ready. Okay. Yeah, follow your own guidance, but it's asking you to, whereas you would have said no in the past, uh, try saying more yeses and look for the lovely. Okay. So there could be 10 terrible things, right? Or 10 unwanted things and one wanted thing. If you train yourself to focus on the one positive thing, then that's how you start training your energy. Okay. So then what happens is there could be uh, 11 wonderful things or 12 or more even. There's no, <clears throat> it's infinite. So let's say you're on a date, right, with someone. <laughs> Okay, so try to focus on the part you like, and as you train yourself to do that, more of that can come in, and then maybe some other dates with more of those qualities can come in. Okay, but that's not the same thing as love, right? That, those are preferences. Okay, so 
All right. Okay. And as you train yourself uh, in looking at places that you appreciate, right? Then that more of that can come out too. Okay, and smile. Okay. Okay, so what I'm getting is uh, people of status in this sign is like, uh, okay, so like when you're in boss mode or whatever, it's kind of serious and um, things like that is what I'm picking up. And unapproachable. Okay, so if you can squeeze in a smile here and there, right? Eye contact, squeeze in a smile here and there, and uh, also uh, open up to more intimacy in those kind of work environments can uh, help you when you come together with someone who you're really passionate about in the love sector. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. Okay. So it's like, uh, okay, so sometimes if you're in a high status, sometimes people don't, they feel like they would uh, disturb your time or energy since you're important and, and busy, right? Okay. And so um, then they may feel, uh, oh, that's interesting. They, I almost said they may feel unworthy or not. Uh, so then if they're reflecting that, then do you feel worthy, right? You might have this great status, but then really don't feel worthy. Okay. So there's something like that in there. Okay. Now, so you would have to sure up that, right? Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So that's, uh, that would be uh, self-esteem work, right? Okay, so it's like finding a happy medium between, uh, you know, healthy ego and healthy self-esteem, right? Humble and healthy. Okay, all right, now. Okay, so let's see. That's nice emperor and you got the empress oh so there's a match there you got the empress in your uh like the energies that you were interested in. and i felt like that scorpio and the earth signs were uh past people okay but uh there that could be a soul connection there is what i'm getting and here's the lovers okay so <laughs> yeah so love is on the mind okay all right i got it okay okay so there's that Scorpio showing up again. So that past person may come in. Okay, so this could be Taurus too. Okay, so if it didn't work, that could have been because they weren't in maybe such a positive energy. Okay, for Taurus. And I feel like uh, in May, they're going to feel more balanced and stable. Okay, so there's that message. All right, let's get some cards on that tower too. Okay, so they're working on inner child stuff. Okay, so see, they have a lot on the plate too. Okay, and they're, they're in a learning mode is what I'm picking up. They're learning some life lessons here. Okay, uh, but they're very sensual, this Taurus. Okay, and uh, okay, so they might be dealing with some karma. Here's a dragon. Okay. All right, so there's that. <clears throat> but they are sensual, and they're passionate, and they're, they would be interested. Okay, so got that. Okay, so let's keep going. Yeah, see, they're trying to balance that their energy. Okay, so that could be Scorpio, too. They could have gotten out of something uh, in, in trying to move forward. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be, be a meetup later after... The, the energies match. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Now that Taurus could be an earth sign in masculine energy. And they could be working on uh, 
stabilizing something with this fire energy, which is also Sagittarius. So that could be family or um, some past stuff there. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, so that this whole message is the past people, uh, they may be coming back. Okay. All right, so that's the first week. Okay. Now, so let's look into the second week. Oh, they said that could go up to 10 days. All right, now. And for some of you, that's just closing out the chapter with that person. It may not necessarily be uh, coming together. Though, although that is available. Okay. All right. So, yeah. See? Okay. So, there's going to be some more fast movement. So, I feel like May is going to be fun times. Okay. That's what I'm picking up. Look. Desire. Fast movement. So, fast invitations, too. So, that's what I was talking about. Get ready. And as you practice, like, smiling and, and looking uh, to the things that are you like and, um, and being ready. Yes, 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 right? Okay. So get your outfits ready so that um, you don't, you know, you're ready for it. Okay. Okay, so some of you may be uh, interested in a Libra. That did come up, right? Okay. So, this could be also you, tr every time a love thing comes in, getting, like, nervous. Okay, so that, that's for someone. Okay. For some of you, this is a Libra. Okay. And there's going to be uh, fast movement there. Okay, so I feel like the key is to uh, kind of, let's see. Okay, so it's all this. Okay, so Libra's been through a lot too in past relationships. So if it's a Libra, they've been through a lot and uh you the key is to do the invites but go slow if it's a libra now if it's if it's an earth sign some of this might be if it's okay so if it's a taurus they might be going through some sort of releasing Okay, now if it's a Virgo, they're probably focused on uh, humanitarian efforts is what I'm getting. Okay, now what about uh, Capricorn? Okay, so Capricorn... Okay, so there I'm getting several things. Okay, if it's... If they married someone else and you are married to them, they still think about you. Okay. And they wish things could have turned out better. Okay, so maybe there wasn't an opening up. So that's important is to open up to intimacy in your everyday practice so that... Uh, you can have a nice open dialogue with the new person that comes in or the old person, right? Okay, so I'm getting that. Okay, so I feel like you're going to feel more steady this time in love. Okay, now the key is do stress management. If you get the butterflies, do stress management so that um, you can come together in a nice energy. Okay, that's when I'm getting that. Okay, let's do the fourth week. Okay, some of you, <laughs> some of you are focused on the war, and some of you are fo fo fork, fork. Oh, what is that? A fork in the road? Hold on.
Okay. All right, see, this is what they're showing me. This is the potential. Ten of coins and king of coins. This person can bring you also stability, more stability in your life. Because then you won't feel like there's something missing, right? But there's nothing missing. Spirit is with you. That's the soulmate. And then you call forth your mate through your energy. Okay, so now look. This is very important. Now, this is how you move your mind. This is what they're saying. What you do in your mind matters. Okay, so if you want this, see how this is what you want. This is what you've been doing in your head, and then that can manifest in the future. So what you want to do is keep your mind clear and in a positive, neutral to positive place. If you're focusing things on things like um, divorce court and stuff like that, you want to take your focus off of that. Okay, some of you might be lawyers and interested in the... Okay, so, but... Anyway, if you want love, take your focus off of it now and focus on you. Okay, not what's happened. Okay, that's important. Okay, and then focus on places like, um, if you're going to watch movies and stuff like that, focus on ha love stories with happy endings. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so um, what is that? Okay, so those gossip things try and stay off of those okay all right so and that's the fourth week king of coins ten of coins and this this is like a power couple that's nice okay let's get some angels on that just jumped out okay all right let's see what it says yeah some people are closing out a chapter okay and you I feel like you've already done that work okay page of cups Okay, so some of you are worried about money stuff. Okay. Money and love stuff. Okay. Oh, okay. So you don't want just anybody. You want someone with the same kind of uh, status or finance is what I'm picking up. Okay. I kind of feel like uh, that would be cutting out some options. I feel like if they're, uh, you know, decent, open-hearted, and loving, I feel like the message is um, try it. Yeah. Yeah. And I get the feeling that whoever this person is, is solo here. Okay, and some, yeah, they're showing me like uh, some people getting out of uh, re relationships and things like that. So, so whoever it is, is going to free themselves to be solo. All right, let's keep pulling more angels. Okay. Okay, Nine of Cups. Habuhia. Healing preserves health and cures diseases. Okay. So it might be someone who's like in the um, nurse field, medical field. Might be a doctor. Okay. 
But this is also a message to you, Leo, is self-care, right, is very key here. Okay. And um, all things can be healed through connection to spirit. So um, I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you.